G'day guys, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today well, I'm going to uh, start off my video sitting in my 33. So I'll give you a quick little rundown of the interior. Um, when I bought it, I actually bought it from um, Gladstone up in Queensland. I did the 7 hour drive to go and pick it up. For the price I paid for it, you know, it was kind of a, it was a bit of a steal. I'm not obviously going to disclose how much I paid for it and how much I have, you know, put into the car, but I'll give you a quick little, obviously, look around on the inside and then we'll get stuck in today's video and I'll show you exactly what we're doing. So, I got a mint, a little Nardi Gara 3 um, and a 90s original um, G-Ready boost gauge. Um, that's pretty much it, like I bought the old optional Skyline Genuine floor mats. Got a full set, including in the back seat and the floors as well. Um, now these both here I bought through um, Jesse Streeter, so if anyone needs obviously any parts, hit, hit him up. I'll put a link in the description uh, in regards to getting in contact with him. So he just pretty much uh, gets you to find what you want on Yahoo Auctions. You send him the link and he will obviously step you through all the steps on getting, you know, whatever you like. I also have got a, uh, if you can see that there, HKB boss kit. Now this is actually the boss kit that comes with the resistor to... Um, get rid of the ABS light so that's always you know handy because this is a series 2 so this fact this comes factory with <clears throat> the big old series 2 steering wheel obviously comes with an airbag so I wanted to fit Minardi so that's what I got so stay tuned and we'll get into the next part of the video so today guys we're gonna be installing this Mamba adjustable uh, internal wastegate so I'll unbox it and then we'll do a bit of an install video. It always helps if you have a knife, but I can't seem to find my one, so this little screwdriver will do. Guys, it comes with all various different spring rates. I'm pretty sure the factory spring that comes in the gate itself is actually a seven mil, uh, seven mil, a seven pound, seven pound, pound uh, spring. So obviously, if you want to change them, you can. It's pretty simple. Just the six Allen key head bolts in the front. Undo all six. That comes off. You'll see the diaphragm on the inside, and then you can swap your springs out. Okay guys, so this is what comes in the kit, so obviously you've got your different variations of spring pressures and this is our new gate. So I'm pretty sure from what I can understand we've got, we're gonna have the white spring in there from factory, so maximum boost obviously it's gonna give us is 6 psi. Um, I'm probably gonna swap it out right now and put the green 7 pound spring in. So I'll pick you up when I've got this apart. Okay guys, so we're back, so I've disconnected, oh sorry, I've disassembled the gate now, by the looks of it, um, I have the 12 psi spring in there, so that's definitely what I uh, currently don't want, as I've only got a factory ECU, and I just want to run around just, just 7 pounds till I can eventually save up money, and um, get a tune, bigger turbo, it's all just depending on the money really, so this is what it looks like, obviously disassembled, now I didn't realise there's a hole here, that I can actually see what type of um, spring I've got. So I wish I knew that before I decided to tell you what uh, spring I thought I had. So I thought I had the white. Turns out I had a yellow in there. So I'll fit the green one, put it back together, and we'll go and chuck it in the skyline. Okay guys, we're back. Here is the new gate. Now if you're interested in purchasing one of these, I'll uh, put the eBay link down in the description of where I got mine. I got mine pretty cheap, I think it was around $140 Australian. So let's get started on putting it into yeah, the uh, yeah, Skyline just here. Okay guys, so the tools you're gonna to wanna to need is just gonna be a little flat blade screwdriver to get this little circlip off just here. Um, a 13mm socket to get, obviously, if you can see them down there, 
the nuts off here and first of all you're probably going to want to get the power steering reservoir out of the way so in order to do that you're just going to kind of, uh, if I can get it no I'm going to have to put the camera down okay so I've, I've got the reservoir out of the way you then want to pull your your vac line off now the reason I'm replacing my gate is because I'm pretty sure the diaphragm inside is broken um, I tried to put compressed air into the fitting here and the elbow, sorry not the elbow, but the arm here hardly moved like it was, so if this is the gate and then I put air in it, it was like that when you open it, so obviously when boost hits it or even compressed air goes into there this should just slam right open so I'm gonna change this and then obviously when I get to drive the car again because I tried to start it yesterday and my battery was flat because I haven't driven it in over a week I wanted to drive it today, but that's not going to happen. So I'll get this gate off, guys, and I'll pick you up from there. Whatever you do, do not lose that circlet because the new gate does not come with one. Guys, so here's the two gates side by side. You can tell the uh, big difference. Now, this is a factory OP6 uh, wastegate, which comes on the RB25 Neos. So I'm pretty sure they are exactly the same as like your normal, normal RB25 uh, actuator. So they go to, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I think seven pound is uh, minimum. I think they go to like 11, please don't quote me on it. But I know that this one now will only go up to 11 PSI, which is good because I've been having a boost spiking issue. So I just put my foot into it and it'll just keep climbing. And I'd get to on my boost gauge, I think 1.2 bar, which is around 14 PSI. And obviously on the factory ECU, um, it's not going to like that much boost, so that's why we're swapping in this brand new one. I'll get it fitted guys and I'll pick you up from there. Okay guys, so we're back. I've got the new gate fitted and all plumbed into the vac lines. Um, so all you got to do when you go to set this, so you've got to set the preload at half, half a hole. So obviously where this eyelet is, obviously sit half the rod in there and then that's pretty much your preset. Um, now in order to get to this to suit the OP6, I think it's obviously um, something's not correct or it's just just the way it's been made. Now you can see very that's very close to this bolt here on the inlet housing. Um, all I've done is if you can see there I've kind of bent this bracket out a little bit and it just keeps the rod away from the inlet housing there. But when you push the rod, we're all good. Not touching at all. So other than that, that's pretty good, I think. Um, all i got to do now is put the power steering wheels back on and we are done. And I'll pick you up from there. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That's how you install an aftermarket Mumba Arbor 25 internal wastegate to your Arbor 25 Turbo. Now, I'll leave descriptions in the comment section below on where to find the gate. I'll also link you to uh, Jesse Streeter if you're interested in getting any, you know, like 90s JDM parts or any Nismo parts, because I'm a bit of a Nismo fanatic, um, but obviously nothing's ever too cheap anymore, so I've just got to kind of deal with what I got. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate, you know, all the views that I don't get, because, you know, obviously I'm new to this. So please share the video around. If you like what I've done today, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks guys, I'll catch you all in the next one.